technology, economics, politics, and of course, some fun in the sun. It's all been covered here at the AEM Annual Conference. Hi everyone, I'm Ed Hyland. For the past couple of days, hundreds of people have been soaking up plenty of sun, sand, and knowledge. Attendees danced their way into the final day here at the AEM Annual Conference. Breakfast was served up with a side of social media. The most important aspects of what you do online with social media in your business are the results that they make offline. Expert Carissa McClusack discussed some of the positive changes she has seen in the industry, like how companies are using more video platforms to connect with stakeholders and how digital media can be used to solidify your company's brand and improve your ROI. It's really when we look at digital media, uh, we want to talk about integration into business strategies that have always worked. It's a mistake to take away something in your business that's always driven great results and replace it with digital. Uh, what you really want to do is look for opportunities to make improvements or look at where you're best and put digital behind it to fuel it even more uh, and that's a really productive strategy. Carissa left attendees with a key formula that leaders can apply to their own strategies. She described the formula in three steps, listening, participating, and creating. Throughout the conference, AEM staff were making sure leaders were moving and networking. One way was through these books. Attendees signed the cover of the books each time they sat down or moved tables. That way they could see who they met over the course of the conference. At this year's conference, attendees also got an inside look at the economy. While the prognosis is not all good news, expert Eli Lustgarten did speak about the new normal the industry must adjust to. Lustgarten explained that while slow growth may continue for a little while longer, the worst is in the past. A key to future growth involves clearing inventories and excess products in construction and across all sectors. This is a tough time, but you know, the profitability of American companies is terrific. They are managing the downturn from a financial standpoint in better shape than we've ever seen. The world isn't going to end, it's just we got a little too fat and happy of like, there is a new normal, maybe not as high as we came back from. I think we're, we're very much seeing in our markets that things like uh, the commodity markets, um, some of the big ag markets have, have been down and, and we are expecting them to to stay down and are planning for that and, and the information really much, really very much solidified that that is what, what it's looking like it's going to be. A good deal of the learning here at AEM is focused on where the industry is headed and what leaders can expect. One of my key takeaways would be how quickly technology is changing every industry and the need to look forward and develop plans to address that. We have a lot of work to do to get caught up in the, especially in the social media space and some of the stuff that they talked about yesterday with the tech shops and that, Condix is doing all those things in our local area, but it's great to see it happening on a national level. Uh, we believe manufacturing is really the key to this company, the country coming back. And if we don't get the young people involved in those types of activities, uh, we're gonna suffer as manufacturers. Leaders also had the chance to make their voices heard at the Taking the Helm panel. The panel included discussions on hot topics in the industry, like how to grow the future workforce. We are a, an old line business, and, and we can be perceived by younger folks as being the wrong place to be. So we need to adapt how we deal with the workforce and how we, how we work with them so we're more attractive. We're an aging industry. And as we age, we need new people to come into that industry that are excited about it and want to be part of it. And those are different skill sets than perhaps you get in college. So we really are, are searching for a way that uh, our organization, AEM, can be helpful to drive some people towards our industry and towards good, well-paying jobs that can raise families. Molding young leaders and retaining a skilled workforce is also a high priority for many attendees. Early in your career, it's really easy to get uh, completely focused on just doing your day job and doing the mechanics of, of what you're responsible for. And that's important and it's kind of the minimum that you need to do to be a great leader. But, but taking the, the incremental time to do things like attend conferences like AEM uh, and invest kind of on the margins uh, of things that maybe are a little bit adjacent to what you do day to day is really important. 
Another important aspect of the conference includes the transition to the 2016 AEM chair. Well, it's a great honor for me to be uh, to become the chair of the AEM. Of course, uh, next year is a big year when it comes to the political scene, uh, being a, an election year, and uh, certainly the advocacy side of the business is going to be very important. Days of learning and networking ended here at AEM with the always entertaining Hall of Fame celebration and finale dinner. Tonight is a special evening and a great honor for me to represent John as he is included among this esteemed group of his peers. On behalf of the McDonald family, the employees of MacDon Industries, and our very special friends who are with us here tonight, it is a privilege to convey our sincere gratitude to AEM and the Hall of Fame Committee. This year's finale dinner theme is the changing tides of music. All of the instruments you see here on the tables will be donated to various children's organizations. We leave you now with a look at all the fun, and we hope to see you next year at AEM Annual Conference. For now, I'm Ed Hyland, AEM TV. Thanks for watching.